All right, the next chapter in this in this brick adventure is we are going to use these tiling sponges. I love these puppies. I use them for so many different projects. We are going to cut these in half because we are going to turn these into our brick stamps in making these bricks look like they are hundreds and hundreds of years old. We actually want this brick wall to look like it's gonna fall down at any minute, which is gonna be super fun. Taking something that's really perfect, imperfection is where it's all about, where it's all at and where it turns interesting because perfection is not interesting. We want this to be really, really cool and custom. So as you can see, this tile sponge is just the perfect size for our brick stamp. And we're going to do four of those so that we've got different color combinations that we can put on these bricks. And it will be super fun, soap and water cleanup, very easy process as we go. So um, relegate an old cookie sheet, um, if you've got one, or get one at a thrift store that you can just use for a paint palette. They come in so handy, because we are going to use this literally as an artist palette by filling it with, um, with latex paints remainded house paints that we have collected in the clearance section at Lowe's and Home Depot. Okay, chapter two in our brick adventure. Now we are going to put all of these remaining paint colors on the paint tray. And when I say paint tray, I mean remaining cookie sheet. And we are going to dip our brick stamp into them. So we're gonna put a little bit of color. We're gonna put a little bit of brown, a little bit of black, and the good thing about this is that if they intermingle, mix and match, it's all good because they're all gonna be mix and mingling anyway. And we want that look because again, we do not want perfection. We are starting for imperfection. Far more interesting, far more realistic. Um, I think I'm gonna put some gold here next to my brown. And this is a little thicker, so there we go. And we do have some fabulous undertones going already on this brick, and we are not going to completely cover those. We are just going to add to it and give it some Asian patina. So here we go with the barn red. I collect paint like other people collect coins. I know it's kind of sick, but um, <laughs> super fun because I'm always thinking, "Ooh, that would look cool on something." So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it home. It's it's the same price as a little tiny container of craft paint, so hey, why not? Okay, so we've got our, our paint tray filled up there. It's good to have a damp rag when you're doing this, as you can see, so I'm gonna wash my hands off right now. Okay, on your mark and set go. I have gotten all of my four little sponges, my little brick stamps down, because that helps me blend and kind of mix in the paint when we go to put it on the brick. So I'm going to just dip a little bit of a little bit of the sponge in each color. And we are going a little more black here. And then we are going to go over these with just a little bit of downy. And then we'll take this one that I'm going to use as this one is my stamp and just blend it in a little bit make it look a little bumped out and, and rusted. And what we don't wanna worry about are the grout lights because we are going to go back over these with concrete patch and just in a caulking tube putting it on our finger and rubbing it across here and actually some discoloration on the grout is a good thing because that's what happens when brick gets old and this clay starts to run down the grout. It distresses it and blurs those lines a little bit. So we can do a few of these and we never wanna do same pattern we never want to do next to each other so you can flip your sponge upside down backwards and we're going to go ahead and do this sponge too so we have a little bit of a, a different pattern going so we've got two sponges working here and every time you dip it in you can actually change your color combination and the direction that you're doing it <clears throat> and Lot a little bit on there, a little bit on, a little bit on. And I love these bricks that already have the black on them. So we want to leave a little bit of that coming through. We don't want to cover all those up. We want those to kind of live and breathe organically with that color tone that's underneath them. And again, we're not going to dress every brick because we like this red undertone. We don't want to completely cover that up. 
need to add a little bit more red to these guys that we're playing with. And again, keeping this very random in nature as you go. Don't judge this by how it's looking right now. You might be thinking, oh my gosh, she's ruining it. But this really is the foundation and process that takes place. Um, and it's the fun part because we are trying really hard not to be perfect. We don't want to have any kind of a pattern. We don't want there to be any kind of a distinguishable um, print on here as far as our stamp. So turning the sponge in different directions is critical. As you go along, and I can see I'm going to need a ladder to get up there on the tall area. Put a little more red on here. And we are just going to keep playing random dipping of our sponge and colors. Again, we're not going to worry about that grout because that will be addressed later. And any of the bricks that end up getting too much paint on them, We've got some other sponges here to go back and mute those and tone them down. You want this to look like it's old. And part of the trick in doing that is we will go back over this, over the edges, with a white wash that will make the edges look tumbled. Like you see um, when the bricks start getting worn down and, and wear and tear and the calcium deposits from the water on there, they just look tinted and fabulous. base coat down on the brick so now we are going to go back over and tumble the edges because distressed and old brick starts to wear and chip away those calcium deposits seep into the edges and we're going to give these bricks dimension by doing that so we've got this damp sponge and we're going to just not worry about our white paint down there being you know pristine at all we're just going to take some we're going to put that paint and dip it right here on the edge and go over our bricks for whitewashing <laughs> 